بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته After we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Peace and blessings unto our beloved Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam His family, his friends and all those who follow him When Murad is going to say Kabil tu nikahaha What does it mean from an Islamic perspective? What does this mean by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is it just words that he utter and he walks out of this masjid, married person? Or what is it really? And I think that's a very important aspect from a Sharia aspect. Because it is not only where he's going to make halal which is haram, but what is beyond that? Beyond that, when he say Kabil to Nikahaha, it virtually means that the moment he say that, he has signed a contract by Allah to do what? To look after my wife the way Allah wants me to look after. May Allah grant you all the success, inshallah. Walhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أزوجك على ما أمر الله بإمساك بمعروف أو تصريح بإحسان يا مراد الله زوجتك وأنكحتك مخطوبتك بنتي ميتاب Ala ma tara daituma alaihi minal mahar. Kabil tu nikah li nafsi bidalik. His eldest, his first born is leaving home. 
Tas man vien dēļ jau sāk. Pa nevēdē, o. Tu krēj, un prašu tas ir, bet tas man māpēc tu zāk uz tevi sīzon. Jā, arī vienmēr. Es vēl nav prašu. Something deep inside, and all I 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and good evening to each and everyone. Today we celebrate love, happiness, adventure, compromise, sacrifice, understanding and hard work. These are some of the many things marriage entails. Today we celebrate your love for each other, my beautiful sister and new brother. I'm not sure what to call you yet, so throughout my speech I will try out a few names and you can tell me which one you like best. <laughs> if you ask anyone in my family to describe my sister, they would probably talk about her big heart and how she will do almost anything for anyone. I'm sure you have quickly realized this about her, Murad Bhaijan. The past few months leading up to this day has been a roller coaster of emotions for my family. Mostly exciting and happy as we planned and prepared to give my sister and Murad Alabai their perfect fairy tale wedding. And I hope this day not only meets your expectations but exceeds it. Each day brings about new learning experiences. Just hold true to the values which our parents have always instilled in us and trust in Allah. Betty bye. I think this is my favorite name for you. So from now on, I will refer to you as Buddy Bye. <laughs> my parents are entrusting you with one of their most valuable possessions. We know that you will care for her and look after her as well as she deserves. My sister always told me that we are both crazy and we'll get along really well. I have seen some of your crazy and a note to the family. You have no idea what you're in for now that there are two of us. May today be the least happy of all your days together. May Allah shower His choicest blessings on your marriage. Fill your lives with the same love and understanding that the Prophet ﷺ had with his wife Aisha radiallahu anh. Amen. In the words of my dearest late granny, Appa, don't forget, Mans mensa as hugir as frau mensa. Jy moet nie baie praat as hulle van die week afkom nie, want hulle is moog. Shukran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So a few months ago, uh, Murad asked me to give a speech at his wedding on behalf of all of his friends. And uh, I view this as an absolute honor because out of all of his 3,927 friends, he asked me to do it. And he says he asked me because he thinks I'm not going to embarrass him or I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be inappropriate. So Murad, I hope I meet your expectations here this evening over the next few moments. <laughs> so Metab, I got to know Murad quite well over the last 13 years or so. So my friendship with Murad started over a game of 30 seconds. 30 seconds junior, in fact. <laughs> he remembers. <laughs> we were all at a mutual friend's house um, and the, the, the game kind of came out and we all said we were going to play and then we mixed the adults and the kids all together and we started playing. And there was Murad in the top of his voice, shrieking, trying to kind of distract his opposition just so that he could win. And he'd do it even to the kids. And I told myself, what is this guy doing? But anyway, Meta, you know how competitive he can be. And I think that competitive nature can be a blessing. A blessing that when Murad does something for anyone, he gives it his all and nothing less. Murad has this amazing gift to balance his immaturity with his maturity. He's steadfast in his deen and absolutely loves his culture. He does an incredible amount of good for his community and the destitute. He's got a super keen sense of style, but also guards his humility well. But through this all, it took him his entire life to do just one thing, and that's to find you. So to Murad and Metab, Mubarak to you both again. May the rest of your lives be as happy as you are today, and may your lives together be filled with happiness, understanding, Compromise and respect. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
I meet up with Murad, I just like to wish you all well, farewell for your marriage and just wish you all the best. Just remember that the coffee dates after work still belong to me, Murad. So if you come home in the afternoon and your wife's not there, she's probably with me um, having a coffee date. Welcome to the family, Murad. Hey Meiji Murad, congratulations you guys look amazing and we're so so proud of you. We wish you all the best of love and happiness for the future. Congratulations. <laughs> Can we dance? <laughs> Stop moving! <laughs> Nancy, don't put this down in the video! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Murad. I am now your favorite cousin. I am I was always Medab's favorite cousin, and now I'm your favorite cousin too. I just want to wish you guys the a lifetime of happiness, love, and laughter. Um, I hope that your life is filled with um, lots of babies and good memories always. I wish you guys all the best for your married life, and it was really nice meeting Medab for the first time. And I hope that she has a great life ahead of her. Thank you. You guys looked amazing tonight. Mubarak on your wedding. Um, I wish you every bit of success, inshallah, ameen, uh, and a long and happy marriage. No, that's okay. Thank you. No, why are you still, why is he still rolling? Cut, cut. <laughs>